Do you want to run more effective retrospectives with your team? I'm Emily, and I'm going to show you how to run more effective and productive retrospective meetings with less prep time using Parable. Head to the Parable dashboard and click the Add Meeting button. You'll see options for different activity types like stand-ups and sprint estimations. Select Retrospective and choose from a list of classic and novel retrospective templates. Not sure which template is right for you? Hover your cursor over a template to see the retro questions and categories. Once you've chosen the perfect template, select your appropriate team from the drop-down menu. Parable helps teams get the conversation started with bespoke icebreaker questions. You can choose to include one or not. The Team Health Check is a quick and anonymous question that helps you and your team get a snapshot of the current mood. Like the icebreaker question, it's optional. Finally, you can choose to make reflections anonymous for all team members, a feature we find incredibly helpful in eliminating bias and allowing for more voices to be heard. Once you've made your selections, hit Start Activity, and voila, you're running a retro. The team member who opened the meeting automatically becomes the facilitator. You can reassign or randomly select a new facilitator. Here's a pro tip. Rotating the facilitator helps to keep teams engaged and allows for someone else other than the manager to lead the meeting. On your screen, you'll see the various phases of the retro on the left sidebar that keeps everyone on track and acts as an agenda so your team isn't guessing what's coming up next. If you've included an icebreaker, one will automatically be ready for you, but you can cycle through other options until you find a goodie. After each participant has shared their icebreaker response, you'll move to the team health check if you decided to include it. Your team will be prompted to answer the question, how are you feeling about work today? Each participant anonymously selects one of three emoji options. When everyone has answered, you and your team will see a summary of the responses. Another pro tip, remind your team that they can add reflections in the meeting based on the team health check question. There are also facilitator tips for each phase of the meeting in case you get stuck. When you're ready, the facilitator clicks next and you'll move along to the reflection phase. The facilitator can set a timer during each phase, including voting and discussion, to help move the meeting along without being distracted by keeping an eye on the clock. You and your team can start adding reflections under any of the question columns. Once the timer chimes and all the reflections have stopped, the facilitator moves the team into the grouping phase. Everyone on your team can move cards, group, and edit the titles of the groups. If you want to group faster, use the search function to identify similar cards. Or you can click the Smart Grouping button which automatically groups for you and generates a title. When you've grouped your reflections and your team is ready, click Next to move to the voting phase. The facilitator can select the number of votes for each participant and even choose how many votes per group. Everyone votes and can see how many they've used and have left, as well as the number of votes left across the team. When the votes are in, the facilitator moves the meeting into the discussion phase. Parable automatically ranks the discussion topics for you, starting with the group with the most votes. An AI topic summary appears on the right of the screen, which gives shape to the individual reflections and serves as a helpful artifact for participants to go back to after the meeting is over. Your team can add emojis to individual reflection cards and write questions or comments in the discussion thread, 
with the option of doing so anonymously. Teammates can reply and add emojis in the discussion box as well. As new tasks and ideas surface during your retro, you and your team can create task cards directly in the meeting, which connects to your Parable dashboard. Once you've gone through your discussion topics and the facilitator ends the meeting, you'll be taken to a summary of topics and tasks, which will also be sent to each participant's inbox. If there's a particularly salient topic you went over during your meeting and you want to share with your broader team, or there's a topic that requires more async discussion, you can share that topic directly to the Slack channel of your choice. Using Parable brings structure to your retrospective meetings, allowing you to move forward faster and get your team talking together. Go to parable.co and create a free account to start having better, effective retrospectives.